A new dream every day, Huxley Pig. Who are you going to be today, Huxley Pig? A suitcase full of clothes, everybody knows. When you're dressed in your Sunday best, anything goes. A new dream every day, Huxley Pig. Who are you going to be today, Huxley Pig? Sam is here to play. Food is never far away. A new dream every day, Huxley Pig. A new dream every day, Huxley Pig. What? Oh, Sam, is that the post? Oh, goody. Who? It's from Granny. Crumbs. What's this? Aha! Oh, this is how it works, Sam. Look, a cage on one side and a bird on the other. Watch. Look, now the bird's in the cage. Clever, isn't it? You know, Sam, Granny says that movies were invented from this toy. Crumbs! If it's that easy, I can make a movie myself. Well, it could be a home movie. <laughs> what would it be like to make one? I wonder. That's it, Sam. Smile, please. I am smiling. Well, you needn't be so still. Hop about a bit. Do something funny. Such as what? Oh, I don't know. Stand on your head. Do you mind? I've just had lunch. Well, fly up to that roof. I'll follow you up. What? You mean you'll come up there too? No, no, Sam. I mean, I'll follow you with my camera. It's called, um, panning, I think. Right-o. Here I go. Whee! Oh. Here, you OK, actually? Oh, yes, I think so, Sam. Um, that was a bit speedy. Do you think you could uh, do something up there? Do something? Yes, I know. Um, a tap dance would be nice. You want a tap dance? Well, if you could, Sam, and, and you stop when I say cut. Right-o! Whatever are you doing here, Huxley Pig? Oh, hello, Horace. We're making a home movie. A home movie? You're ridiculous. <laughs> What's that tap tap noise? Oh, crumbs, I forgot about Sam. Cut, Sam, cut! Oh, yeah! Poor! My poor feet! Oh, blimey! These grounds are private property, you know, Huxley. Oh, I thought they were all part of the zoo over there. Oh, no, this land belongs to Lady Agatha up the hall. In fact, here she comes now. Who's that with her? Oh, that's oh, Cuddles, no. Lady Agatha's pet. Nice. I heard that, Horace. You're not to use that word in front of my cuddles. Oh, yes, your ladyship. Yeah, I mean, no, your ladyship. These, uh, persons were trespassing, and I was just telling them... Oh, a camera. How delightful. Will you take a picture of cuddles? Oh, come on, stand just there. Oh, well, yeah, I think this is my best side. Yeah, definitely. Oh, excuse me, Lady Agatha, but uh, this is a movie camera, so um, you can move about a bit. Oh, movie camera. It's a film. <laughs> How thrilling. You mean we can really act? Yeah, what's that? Where are you going, Cuddles? Heel! Cuddles! Heel! I've seen a worm. A huge one. Oh, hello. I'm Sidney, the snake. Oh, you're not a worm, then. No, no, Cuddles. Worms don't wear hats. <laughs> Don't tell anyone, but I've escaped from the zoo. The zoo? He means the zoo, actually. Oh, you poor reptile. You must stay with us at the hall. Oh, thanks. We'd look the nice place. Yeah, plenty of room and plenty of grub. Ah, oh, yeah, grub. Who'd like... Oh, oh, that's funny. I thought I had five cream cakes in here, now three have gone. Gone? You mean you've lost them? Well, my lunchbox was full when I came here, and now it's half empty. You oh, rubbish, Huxley, it's half full. You do exaggerate. Never mind. You must all come up to the hall for tea. Yeah, come on, Sidney. <laughs> Love the fairy cakes. <laughs> now then, everybody, I'll ring for some tea. Find somewhere to sit. I bag the armchair. You sit on the arm, Sidney. Mamma's cuddles. Remember what I told you about guests? Oh, yeah. Uh, would anyone like to sit in the armchair? No? <laughs> Come on, Sidney. Do be seated, everyone. Oh, not you, Horace. Why not me? I am the head gardener. 
Horace, you're the only gardener. Go on, sit down, you two. They're ridiculous. You rang, my lady? Ah, Vincent, yes. Ask Cookie to prepare tea for everyone. Everyone? Even Horace, my lady? Oh, bless my soul, Horace, whatever are you still doing here? Who, me? You mean me, my lady? No, I'm, um, I'm carrying the equipment. Perfect. Ah, an old box brownie. Oh, what? An old box brownie cine camera, my lady. Uh, I haven't seen one for years. Oh, uh, you know about cine? Why, I am a cine enthusiast, sir. Uh, the cinematograph, you know. The cinema moving pictures. And I do all my own developing. Crumbs, you couldn't develop my film, could you? Glad to be of service, sir. I'll even lend you my projector, my folding screen, and my splicer. Oh, how thrilling. We can have a film show after tea. <laughs> You've finished, my lady. Oh, none left. There, Sam. Oh, thanks for developing my film so quickly, Vincent. No trouble, sir. Of course, it will need a little snip here and there. What, you mean like a haircut? <laughs> like some editing, sir. Editing? Oh, yes, well, I haven't seen it yet. It's my first film, you know. Really, sir? One would never have guessed. Are you ready to begin the film show? Uh, yeah, well, we're ready with the projector, but uh, Horace seems to be having trouble. Faulty. Oh, it's definitely faulty. It's a load of rubbish, this equipment. Oh, dangerous, that's what it is. Definitely dangerous. Oh, there, it did it again. If you are kind to the equipment, the equipment will be kind to you, Horace. There. <clears throat> I was being kind, and it snapped at me. Yeah, quiet, Horace. Oh, I'm sorry, Lady Agatha, it's Vincent's equipment, it's faulty. No, I'd like to see the film. May we begin? Uh, well, uh, Lady Agatha, if you could move over there. <laughs> That's it. Oh, uh, and you, Cuddles. Um, oh, here. Me, you and, uh, oh, sorry. Stop fiddling with the projector, Horace. I wasn't doing anything. You've laced it up wrong. Now, if everyone's settled, we can begin the show. See, I told you, Huxley, your film's upside down. Oh, oh crumbs, I thought I had it licked. Licked? Oh, I'd love an ice cream. No, Cuddles, you've just had tea. Right, here we go, I hope. Oh, look, it's me. Yeah, it's me again. <laughs> yeah, I'm a star. Blimey, I mean, ain't I marvellous? It's a load of rubbish. Oh, quiet, Horace. You'd get an Oscar for that, Sam. Yeah, oh, rubbish. Oh, let's speed it up a bit. What are you doing, Horace? Oh, that's torn it. The film's broken. Horace, you're a mischief maker. Kindly leave the room. Oh, uh, yes, your ladyship. <laughs> it's a rotten film anyway. Oh, what a rude rodent. Oh, crumbs. How do I mend the film? Allow me, sir. A splice in time saves nine. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, anyone for a cream cake while we're... Oh, my lunchbox. It's empty. You've lost some more cream cakes. Mm, all gone. I, I mean, uh, gone. Somebody must have eaten them. There, sir. All mended, thanks to my trusty splicer. Right then, let's get this show on the road. Wait a minute. That's Horace with my lunchbox. Uh, stop him. Uh, I, I mean, stop the film. Your I says, I says, lovely I says. You rotten rodent, Horace. It was you who pinched my cream cakes. Yeah, I never. How do you know? Just watch the film, Horace. You're the culprit. Culprit? Me? Oh, no, you see, Huxley, I'm putting the cakes into the lunchbox. Eh? Oh, no, that's because the film's running backwards. Now watch this. You're pinching my cakes. Oh, I'm not feeling well. That's because you ate too many cakes, Horace. Serves you right. Here, yeah, Sid and me haven't had our ice creams yet. Uh, no, 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 you haven't, have you? Uh, well, yeah, oh, here you are. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh, crumbs. No, oh, stop now. No, no, no. Oh, oh. Crumbs. Oh. There's more to making home movies than I thought, Sam. You have to keep one eye on your subject and the other on your lunchbox. <laughs> oh, no, not again. Oh, uh, uh, back, back, get back! I know. Cut! 